So I intend to make a village that I will rule with an iron fist. Or maybe this poking stick. But welcome to Enshrouded. It recently just got its new Hollow Halls update, which brought out a whole lot of goodies. And Keen Games was kind enough to come sponsor me to check it out. So a big thank you to them. If I'm going to make my perfect village, though, I need to clean up all this trash that's around it. And for right now, I'll just summon these guys to stay in the, like, one random building. There you go, the only five friends in this world I got. This little guy is important, because he lets me make all sorts of stuff. Oh, and I found where the hollow halls are. Now let me do a temporary storage system. Something like this works. So before I get started on making this village something that will make kings cry, let's go poke my nose into that hollow halls to see if I can get anything new for my base. Hello, peaceful acres. Down, boar. This is supposed to be like a giant large dungeon, and there's a unique one in each of the biomes in the world, but considering this is the starting one, I feel like I'll have a better chance. Location reached. Hello, do you have resources for me? A bunch of skeleton piles walking around. That's cool. Oh, there's a bunch of skeletons walking right at me. If you guys are going to be mean, then die about it. Stupid jerks. God, level 10. These guys are so strong. Die, 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 die. All right. Yeah, little ice bolts, ectoplasm fragments, a summoning vessel. Hey, I was looting, jerk. I wonder if I can make some fun stuff with ectoplasm. Okay, use the creepy altar thing. Sure, nothing bad's going to happen to me here. Here we go. This helps. Oh, ice bolt. I forgot to bring my spells with me, but that's fine. Where are the summoners at? Oh, what is this thing? I picked it up. Looks like I need to murder everyone to get through here. Yeah, fine by me. Dude, what is this? There's like little enemies in these jars. Wait a second. I just never looked up. There we go. Barrier unlocked. Got anything else for me in here, game? Oh God, they set up like a little ambush. Be gone. And one more ectoplasm. Oh, cool. Healing item. Go, skull summoning vessels that I've gotten. This is just a big old horde of people. I figured it would probably work out well. God, you should really bring a friend into these. They kind of bully you when you're just by yourself. Hang on. I want to repair my equipment, you jerks. <laughs> All I had to do was just kite him out. Repaired. Yo, these bone arrows do some damage. Maybe I should have crafted some more arrows before I actually came in here. And I really got to say, with the UI updates and some quality of life improvements, along with just like a performance update that they did, I believe, this game is running better than ever. Dare I even say crispy. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Sometimes the secret to dungeoning is is merely avoiding the enemies. A barrier unlocked. Dude, look at how many skeletons there are. All right, I've reached a conclusion. One, I should only come back here when I have more friends. And two, I just want to go build my little village. So I've got five friends here. I guess if you included this house as a pre-built one, it wouldn't be half bad. But I've got a bunch of regular stone blocks in here that I can start to make stuff with. Let's go with two blocks like so, and then because of Entrouded's extremely cool building system, you can kind of do like half blocks and things. Something like so, and then just kind of fill this in. Nope. However, oh, I'm missing materials. Oh God. Let me remember to make a workbench because then I can craft a whole bunch more regular stone blocks. Here we go. Now our floor is completed. So if I wanted to make another building over here, I could. It's gonna be shaped a little bit differently, more long rather than wide. And here, I just switched it down to the one by one to save myself some resources. There we go. Floor complete. Here you go, buddy. This can be your house as the alchemist. And then good old Cade the carpenter. This one can be you. Let me go ahead. I'll just place their beds down a little bit prematurely. But there is a comfort level to like your overall base. And these guys are like a plus six. All right. Let's fit in our door frame there. Need a bit of a smaller wall to go here. That just kind of lets it fit in like that. And then I can fill this in with columns so it doesn't look weird. Dude, how cool is that? Now, if I combine window frames do they open up no it's got like the little tiny window all right we can still just finish up these corners here though. there we go it's a bit rudimentary but this feels like a nice looking house to me oh, i could even remove that wall and actually put windows right here hang on the people of my village will be looking at each other no secrets Bruh. let's get myself some wall torches because i kind of need some of those and i was able to make some roof blocks that by combining the outer roof corners with the inner roof corners and doing a little bit of finagling we're able to make a nice little roof for the house dude this rocks get some torches in here so my alchemist buddy can actually see what he's doing so for my little 
carpenter friend here, you're getting the sandstone house, mainly because I think it'll be fun to make all of these differently. I actually don't hate this at all. And then it's basically like once you've done one roof, you've done them all. Now I will be terraining out a nice little segment here because I've got some refined wood that I want to use for this last little house. I think something in this like little wavy shape would be fun. Still got to get rid of all this stupid stone that's floating around. Like a key blast or something that does that. That would be nice. All right, I've got a lot of things I could go with here. Let's go with the city wall. I like that it has like the little vines and such or roots kind of inside of it. So I like to imagine it helps my comfort level. All right, fill these columns in. This is nice. We're not stopping there though. We're making stairs. Can fill this in with more refined wood. Even though I have like 3 billion options, I'll just try and still stick with my city walls for right now. I think the house would look pretty weird if I switched it up at this point. All right, fill all this in. Column, column. Get an oven in here. Place like a mortar thingy down. Do a wall torch by the door and then one right under these steps. Little bed with the tools by the end. And I'll just make like a community fireplace right there. This way everyone can use that and be happy. I think my blacksmith is going to live in here, so I'm just trying to fill it up with all the things a normal blacksmith would use, which actually reminds me, give me this laboratory. You belong with the alchemist, as well as the alchemy station. That makes sense. Squeeze in the smelter under these steps. Let me get two more wall torches down. Yo, this actually looks kind of comfortable. Am I like a good architect? All right, my smitherman stand and now this one's gonna be a two-parter we got the loom we got the tanning station i think you can guess who's living in this part also drying rack only thing is i still need to fit their bed in here that's fine i can grab the materials for that on my way to grab more materials i discovered these little wall lanterns that should help with the lighting situation all right little bed go down emily my nice hunter lady come in Welcome to your new humble abode. Although I should probably make a ceiling. Huh. Just to give this an eerie undertone, they get the bone block ceiling. Huh? It's my village. I get to do whatever I want with it. Yeah, that's pretty creepy. I did not think about how I was going to get up to the roof. Wait a second. I was able to make scaffolding. And like this. Ha. Ah. Perfect. Gonna go ahead and use larger roof pieces this time. Cause ta-da, doesn't that look sick? Uh, give me this back and you, Mr. Scaffolding. Look how neat that is. Now, if you wanted and were really cool, you could come in here into the one by ones and then add like individual details like that. I'm just uh, stupid. But those are my three houses that I can know how to build. Even a dummy could make this. I should know, I just made it. All right, now you're all cold and alone in here. I'll give you the fireplace and wall lantern. Wall lantern, wall lantern. Two more up top. Oh, I didn't realize there was already a resident in this house. Not anymore. Give me it. Nope, your bones. They're mine. There you go. Can have a nice little bed. Is it messed up that one person's home is just not tenderly made by me and it will also be my storage area? Ah, I'm sure it's fine. They probably don't care. And now for you, my little buddy. You guys got like all sorts of stuff you can make, like a copper bathtub. I mean, I'll make it, I guess. Here, I'll put that down there for you. That gives us some more comfort. I also made a little wooden cabinet for your house. Found this photo of your mother laying around that you can have back. They'll even give you a little rug wipe your feet at. Look at that. Comfort level 31. Dude, this is skyrocketing. Dude, I didn't realize this guy's got a great view of the god beam right outside of his door. This is prime real estate, buddy. Let me go make sure that I decorate these other homes too real quick. Hey, between you and me, you even get this large polished cabinet. I'll stick that right over there. And I put in an order for all these fences, but these wooden ones kind of growing on me. Like if something attacked, we die, Bruh. but that's fine. Instead, I'll just add these in where there's not really any fencing to keep us safe. Can I stack fences? <laughs> No, that's not going to protect us at all, and it looks stupid, but it's fine. Here, buddy, you can also have a workbench. What do you think about that? Yo, and a brick fireplace gives plus four comfort? Make three of those. I know your building isn't made out of brick, buddy, but uh, congrats. You got the brick fireplace now. Here's one for you, too. You're kind of a blacksmith, so that makes sense in its own way. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Here you go. A little cupboard for you. Same for you, buddy. You're not neglected in here. They're most definitely neglected in there. I also put in an order for some stone benches. My comfort level's up to 35 now. I figured just putting like a bench in front of the fireplace aesthetically makes sense. I could be wrong though. Again, I have no degree. Look at that. Why am I sitting with my back away from it? Is the heat too much for me? Okay, that's a bit odd. Oh, and what am I doing? I forgot to give this guy a fireplace. Here, I'll just connect it to the window. That looks stupid, but don't tell anyone about it or I'm taking the fireplace away. Look at that. Look at what this nice little village has become rather than what it once was. You even start foraging the resources. Now, I'll be honest, I made my own nice little village
village over here, but this wouldn't have been possible without the help of my friend. He let me hop into his world and get everything up and running. And so I figured I'd kind of show off their base somewhat. It is a bit of a square, but you see they've got the window frames. They've got some grapple hooks and um, I might have been stealing the resources out of their base. <laughs> Look, you can make like tables and chairs and stuff or have like little segments of your house dedicated to certain things. They've got a comfort level all the way up to 56. Okay, you know what? While I'm here, I've already stolen a whole bunch of stuff. What's some more? Quick, back to my base. That's better in every way. Hello again, ma'am. Your house is now going to be the meeting area. There we go. I just fully robbed a table. All my comfort levels up to level 44. Here, put a little rug at the door. Put a chair staring at the wall so you can think about what you've done. Put a toilet right behind that one so you can have friendship bonding time. There you go. A little lamp in the table. Comfort level 57. We can probably make that higher. Let's just keep disrespecting their house. Now there's a shower in it and then a sink so you can wash your hands after your body. Here we go. Comfort level 65. Is this the most efficient base in Enshrouded? Yes. And if anyone tells me different, I'm going to plug my ears and go la 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 la. But all right, my very poor building skills aside, you've clearly seen how many fun and crazy tools are in this game that let you build whatever you want, whenever you want. So I encourage you to go get it for yourself. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. You can click it, pick up Enshrouded and get started in this beautiful game, making your own house however you want it quite literally however you want it you see this little overhang right here you can do that and then now if you need me i'm gonna go run away so i don't get murdered by my friend for completely dismantling his house <laughs> as always thanks so much for watching i'll see you